Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to RimWorld, my friends. Now, before we move on, just one quick thing. We have an extra few mods that uh, I just installed to help us out a little bit. We have the numbers mod over here so that we can see a couple of uh, stats more readily. Now, every time that we want to track jumper number of kills, we can now just see it in here instead of going to records. And look for that particular stat. It can also help us out, you know, in other ways. It's just a matter of uh, selecting something that we might need. For example, food, see wh whoever is hungry, blah, 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 blah. It can be very helpful. Also, another thing that we were doing a lot was uh, we were selecting the recipe, coming into detail, see what was, what was the cost. This way with the uh, Dubs Mint HUD, I think. Uh, we can just uh, see the recipe in here much better. And also the Trader's Help mod, but we can't see that one just yet. But in any case, my friends, now, last episode we got this thing all over here, right? This mess. Uh, just before the end of the episode, we still need to reclaim our crashed shuttle and a bunch of, uh, you know, small uh, uh, things of loot that they have left behind. Uh, so let's clean this mess uh, first. Oh, we also need to rescue some of our uh, damaged bots. I'm pretty certain that then we'll we'll do it. Seems to be the problem. Out of power again. So yeah, my friends, I think that today we are going to focus some of our time and resources into making uh, a little bit of extra power. But now. I don't think we are going to face so many resource issues because we have Ivy on our team. Ivy will pretty much specialize on making components and after he is done with making components he will help out in research um, aspects. After all, he is really good at those kinds of things, so yeah. Uh, other than that, I would really also like to get the rest of the Mechanitor workshop ready, get a couple extra pikemen or even scythers in our team. Who knows? I suppose that we'll have to see. But uh, our major issue right now is actually the steel. Steel is actually something that we don't have a lot. Like right now we have a bunch of steel in storage. That's pretty much some of the last steel that we have available. We have this steel over here and a few extra bits and bobs scattered along the map. But the main veins of steel have already been collected. So we'll have to start uh, thinking about alternative ways of acquiring acquiring a such material. Well, I forget how much stuff do we get from a crashed uh, uh, shuttle, 5 components, uh, 35 plasteel and uh, 20 steel. Take the components first because those, um, you know, deteriorate over time, uh, the plasteel doesn't, so... Yeah, we need to really clean this up. There is a bunch of good stuff that I would like to keep, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, telling these guys to kind of prioritize, you know, some of this stuff over um, what the, whatever they are doing. Like, for example, cooking four meals. Why cook four meals when you can just come over here and pick them up? Hmm? Martin, we need to be smart about this. Oh, that's terrible. Like, I don't care about my other animals. To be perfectly honest, if some mufalus die, you know, that's life. The donkeys, on the other hand, mm, that's less than ideal. Okay. Time to um, tame another one. Uh, the first animal that we are ever going to tame in this, in this playthrough, to be perfectly honest. Uh, there was no, no need that, until this. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact. Screw, screw that. Screw that. Where are they? Here they are. Mare. Only two mares? Three mares. Let's tame those instead. And then maybe we can think about getting rid of, of a couple of, of um, not zombies, donkeys. <laughs> but yeah. Wow, the second this thing uh, hits 64% apparently all the animals will go and eat it. Boy, for some reason they just decided to go crazy on those uh, those grasses, oh boy. Alright my friends, so, uh, after completing 10 capes, Jumper went from uh, 5 crafting to 8 crafting. Uh-huh, I like that, you know what, you know what, jump, uh, Jumper, you are gonna do it again. Maybe after this round of capes is done, we can trust you into crafting uh, some other items. Who knows, maybe we can actually build another one of these. Do we have advanced components? I think we do have a couple of advanced components. Uh, we do, you know what, we can allow this, that way uh, Jumper can just craft uh, components instead of um, these things. Mm, I like that. 
I like that a lot. Uh, our component collection is starting to grow now. I'm starting to feel comfortable with the amount of components that we have on hand, so... Pretty cool. Nice, so we got at least one mare done. I'm also just uh, rearranging a few things in here, because uh, I think it is now justifiable to start thinking about building uh, an item such as this to help out a little bit. Uh, I think if I put it over here... No, there is a sweet spot. I know that there is a sweet spot somewhere around here to... Uh, yeah, I think it is right there. It doesn't cover that one, but well, I can remove move that around a little bit uh, afterwards. So yeah, I think this would be perfect for everybody involved. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, okay? But I think it is worth it. Now, this pillar over here is mighty unfortunate. I think the roof would collapse if it was not for it, right? Like this section over here. Hmm. Let's try it out. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, as long as it doesn't collapse on top of Princess, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Precisely what I thought. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Nice, so, but of has been converted, time to start recruiting. Resistance of one should be done relatively quick. By the way, why did we want you anyway? Because reasons, right? Because we need more ma manpower. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, nice, and, uh, and a good assault rifle. Hmm, who's going to get that beautiful prize? I think it was... Uh, wall over here, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I... Pre yep. Come equip your brand new assault rifle. Do you guys remember when we started the episode with 700 seal? Yeah, I built nothing and I have 71 seal left. Yeah, that's like a... Like, yeah, I built this. Which, granted, is a lot of steel. Uh, this was suspended and I built this. All the steel. Gone. Gone. Just, just gone. Bye. No more steel for you. You're out of steel. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't even know where I'm gonna find more steel. I, like, this thing has been working for so long and we haven't found a single underground node of steel. I, sh I hope the first node we find is steel and not, like, something useless. But oh well, my friends. Uh, I think it is time... Oh, nice. We have restocked. I think it is time for a trip uh, to, uh, to a trip to our neighbors, my friends. We need to go there. What the fuck is this? Why does that polluted concrete? How? This... It, mm, oh, because, yeah, we had that caravan that was taking the polluted garbage out of this... <sighs> sure. Wait a second, my friends. Let's clean that pollution. Out of there. We don't want any pollution inside of our, like, thingy. All of it should be going over there. In fact, let's expand this. Because we, like... The environment over here, who cares about that? Oh, a few trees are dying, boo-hoo, who cares? We are humans, we are used to doing this kind of thing. But inside of our base... Uh-huh, no way. But in any case, pollution aside, time to form a caravan. From here to there. And get ourselves a trader with good... I think it was wall over here, right? Uh, yeah, wall. Go to our neighbors and uh, see what they have to offer us. Oh, I didn't know this. Mares are actually faster than donkeys. Donkeys, caravan riding speed, 130%. Caravan riding speed, 160 Oh, I thought donkeys and... Ca oh. And they carry more weight as well. Oh, goodbye, donkeys. It was nice meeting you. You served us right, but... Uh, I just found out something, and, um, I mean, I, I, oh, sure, you know, we could use a few more horses around here, you know. Alrighty then, this is what we are going to take, a large list, most of the, we, most, not most, all of the capes that uh, uh, Jumper has produced, they are actually, they actually sell for a pretty penny, so, not bad, and a bunch of uh, Emmy down web uh, clothing that we have, that, I mean, we don't care, but uh, people still pay money for it, so why not? So this tells us that we don't need these guys. In fact, we might not need you. Uh, maybe we do. Like, yeah, as long as these uh, 
remains green and not uh, yellow, as we can see over there. It's good for me. One day there, one day back, today's journey. Sounds good. Alright. Just uh, one final check and then we'll start forming the caravan. Well, we send a caravan and the uh, caravan comes to us. Now that we have nothing to sail... To say, uh, yeah. Uh, sure thing, but... Uh, uh, great timing. Okay, let's see what they have to offer and what can we uh, sell to them in order to uh, make some money. Uh, they actually have nothing, my friends. Like, nothing. They give nothing, they accept nothing. Okay. Um... Uh, wait a moment. Can we go, um... Can we try to sell these things? Let's see if I can sell these to them. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You know what? Please take all this garbage away from me. Thank you very much. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but hey, it all helps. And that way this thing is far more clean. And look at this. Beautiful. Now we can delete this zone and everything can just sit in there. And get the greatest over time. Nice, we got a new recruit, everybody. Let's welcome Bud into the team. Time to uh, set up the work thingy, scheduling, blah, 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 blah. But hey, now Bud is part of the team. And let me just take a quick look at your bio and see. Well, you're gonna work the fields. And maybe we can train you to be a good artist. You know what? Let's grind that skill. We have like a billion uh, wood. Guess what? I'll go over here, make small sculpture out of uh, wood, right, and make me a billion, by the way, and uh, you want Bud to be the one to do it. There we go. Okay, now, taking into consideration your skill, you actually have a good skill, let's see, from the array of weapons that we have over here, which is not a lot, let's take, give you the heavy SMG. And then you equip the Gladius as a side art. Oh boy. <gasps> Holy Jesus. Uh, I would stay inside if I were you. Time to get inside everybody and pretend that this problem doesn't exist. Uh, I, re I need to uh, redo the area a little bit. But uh, overall, yeah, I want everybody inside right now. We will see how this and this interact with each other. If they move over here, maybe we consider taking them on. If not, well, we'll see. But for now, I want everybody inside. I don't want them opening doors and allowing these good dudes into the colony. Well, given that they are coming into the kill box, well, I say let's try this, right, my friends? Let's try to murder all of them. It would be nice if these guys would come over here and just help us out. But well, it is what it is. Let's see if we have enough firepower to put all of them down. Here they come. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But this is not the time for this. I don't know if you notice, but uh, this is kind of a, of a really shitty situation that we are finding ourselves in. Zombie, 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 zombie. I need you to vertigo pulse, like, for example, if I vertigo pulse over there, oh, it would be one more tile and we would be able to affect so many. Yeah, Vertigo over there. To stem the tile a little bit. Bud, we really need your help. Uh, vertigo this part again. We need to stem the tie once again. Come on, we are almost there. Bud. Buddy. Come back to reality, come on. We need to be careful because these things are supports. And uh, we really don't want... Uh, you know what, bud? I think that you can insult the freaking foxes. Okay, let's pull Angelos and Rim a little bit back. And we'll let, let uh, Cisco deal with this. Zombie, you should pull back a little bit as well. 
We probably we kinda need you. Is that the last foxes? So um There we go. Imagine you saw my bitch and Borku ta 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 and get two shots in in but oops sorry bud oops my bad you were in the way oops what did you say you called me what <laughs> oh no it's assault rifle so I'm going to assume jumper oh I'm sorry I'm inexperienced with this ah come on kill the final fox Jesus okay let's see Militor. Uh, incapacitated? Incapacitated. Almost there. Uh, Pike... Ma Cisco. 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 What, Cisco? You still have no kills after all of this carnage? I cannot believe this. No, Elm. Um, is anyone in mortal danger? Uh, Ray could use some... Uh, go back to bed. You are not in immediate danger, but still go back to bed. You go back to bed. No, oh, bud. Oh, bud. Martin. Battlefield medicine. We need to battlefield medicine this. Okay. Okay. Let's let's box bud in. Let's not allow him to escape. Then, uh, whoever militors have survived, go into recharge, you go do your thing. You guys can go do your thing, and you can go do your thing. Come on, bud. You're not leaving anyone. We are not leaving anyone behind. After we are done with your uh, battlefield medicine, you can just go and insult whoever you want. Okay, buddy? There we go, see? Everybody, go back to your business. Oh, Cisco, I'm sorry. With all that excitement, we didn't even notice that uh, our caravan had arrived at its destination. Alright, now we'll be able to see him. Um, all the transactions that we uh, partake. So, first, let's dump all the stuff that we brought and see how much store credit we get out of this. So, for all the stuff that we brought, we got a whopping 6,000 uh, silver worth of a store credit. Now, it is time for us to go shopping, shall we say. Let's get a couple of components and a couple of other bits and bobs. I still need to browse, see what they have available to us. Uh, but I don't re I don't see anything nice, let me tell you. No Arco... Uh, bionic Leg is nice, but we can make those. If it was an Arco Tech Leg or Arm or Eye, hmm, I would be more inclined to buy. Okay, so this is our shopping list. A bunch of components, advanced components. I'm finally going to be, uh, buy the tech print for jump, ja uh, jump packs, because now we are in a situation where we can take advantage of this technology, so now makes sense to buy this thing. And a little bit of steel. Because steel has been a problem, so why not buy it? We're still gonna take a bunch of silver back home, so you know what? I'm happy with these uh, results. And besides, there is actually really nothing. Uh, like, this this would be kind of, of okay, but level 5? Uh, no one is level 5 yet, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, so in... Uh, where is the travel time? Oh, here it is. In 0 0.9 days, our caravan should be back home with a bunch of good stuff for us. Alright, my friends, so... We have another good assault rifle. Oh, nice. Randy is being so nice to us. Mm -mm -mm. More Ambrosia. Alrighty then. I'm sorry, my friends. I was going to say something, but apparently uh, I'll have to pause for a moment. There we go. Beautiful. More Ambrosia for the fridge. And that reminds me, is this prod still available? Yes, it is. This one is already gone, but this one is still available. So, as I was going to say, uh, we have another good assault rifle that got built and sent somewhere. Probably over there. Oh my god, what seems to be the issues now? Oh, because I'm not looking at that, but dumb dumb. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's just get rid of all of this junk. Ah, <sighs> then, then, you need to uh, go do that as well. Angelus, that was an... Oh, what a... Zombie. 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 I know this is not going to stop their... Um, uh, uh, Angelus going crazy. No, he's already broken. If we arrest him, he's going to go... Oh, man. Ah, I'll have to take, uh, take care of him. 
Just one second. Okay, finally. Are we done? Jesus. Just destroyed one thing. It's fine. We need to... Whenever someone goes into one of these mental breaks, you need to be careful. They don't decide to punch something stupid. You know. There is things in the colony that can't be punched. Otherwise, bad things can happen. But in any way, can I do it now, game? I'm, I, I'm going to pause because I'm, I'm tired of being interrupted. Okay? So, finally, we have another good assault rifle. Now is where the numbers mod really comes in handy because now we can just go over here, select our shooters and see what kind of weapons we have over here. And see, in line, Bork, uh, but Bork is nearsighted, so after him is Dan. Dan, what are you doing? You're meditating. After you're done meditating, uh, please come and collect your brand new assault rifle. Right, so Wall is back, thinking to herself, what have I missed? And then she'll just spot this ginormous mess over here. Well, today is mental breakdown day, apparently, my friends. Ah, alright, now. Can we start moving into lavish mills? Can we? Do we have that ability? Hmm, we can only cook one lavish meal at a time, however, apparently. Oh no, here it is. They are a little bit more expensive to cook, I think. Yeah, they are, they cost double. But they also give a good amount of... Um, of mood boost, so let's see. Yeah, 13 and I believe it is after 12, so Martin is at 13, Ray is at 15, so pretty cool. Just go over here, make sure, just in case someone new decides to come around. Uh, so yeah, we just go over here, do until you have uh, 50 of those, and then unpause when satisfied at 30. Nice, advanced fabrication is now online, my friends. Up next, we have the uh, thing I've been waiting for a very long time. Bionic replacements. Ah, finally we'll be able to start giving bionics to some of our guys, diminishing some of the downsides that they have, because a bunch of them have, like... For example, this one, bionic eye. Let's just take a quick look at, at our guys, okay? This guy over here... Pinky, is, this is in the foot, right? No, Pinky is in the end. So, bionic arm. You. Bionic leg. Bionic arm. And this is probably end as well. Index finger, yeah. So, yeah. Bionic arm, bionic leg. And maybe... I uh, know, uh, that's scarification. So, everything else? Well, another bionic leg. I think dual bionic leg for you. Uh-huh. Yeah, bionic leg, you, bionic eye, bionic leg, yeah, there is a lot of bionics going on in the future, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, as we can see our guys, they are pretty messed, well, there is nothing we can do for you, <laughs> there is no bionic torso, so, yeah, but those that can be, uh, uh, yeah, ears and stuff, like, nothing there, Nothing there. Jumper. Wow, someone who actually doesn't need the bionics. You need bionics. You need bionics. Oh, this reminds me. Everybody needs a good mood boost, right? Right. I think our new guests have not yet been scarified. How about we take care of that? Okay, this torso. Nice. That's like best outcome. And we got... Please tell me something nice. Satisfying ripening of pain. Everyone gets a plus one. Tomorrow, we do another one, and then we do another one if we need to. Now, we had some bulk trader going on over here. Let's just take a quick look at what they have. They might have good stuff for us, so uh, we... Mm, yeah, kinda meh. Well, they do accept furniture, my friends. You know what? It is time for us to get rid of all of these beds. I mean... That's a good amount of money, so why not? Well, they do have an, an exorbitant amount of steel that we could just get. Uh, that's a little bit maybe too much, okay? I mean, let's say 600 steel, it would cost us. It would be costly, but uh, there is ways to dampen the price a little bit. 
There we go, we sell a bunch of stuff that we have laying around that we don't really need and we get 600 steel out of the deal. You know what, that's actually something that I'm uh, happy with. Look at that, bunch more steel. Now my friends, in the last episode we did like the, this mission over here, was for the Empire. How about we start taking care of accepting it, but f before we can do that we actually need to uh, build a throne room for zombie. Hmm... I don't think Angelos is going to enjoy that too much, but uh, well, we have to do what we have to do, am I right? Where are we going to build a throne room? In here, hmm... Maybe... In here... Nah, that's not good. Hmm, I didn't build this colony taking throne rooms into consideration. I mean, we can make like a big room over here to use as a throne and then a particular room just for a zombie. You know what? Let's do that. The Mechanator shop is just going to be like this. We can do it like this. You know what? You know what? That sounds like a good plan. How much blocks do we have? Billions of blocks. Nice. There we go, my friends. And the large throne room. And there, there's uh, the... In, and in here, we are going to have a large bedroom so that we can put uh, so many things that this, that thing is going to be exorbitant or exorbitant extremely extremely ex <laughs> impressive like words difficult sometimes but well in any case in any case this is going to take some time we can wait is this sandstone did i select sandstone no this is marble why does that look like sandstone i don't know oh also we can't forget to use the tag print that we bought i mean we bought it for don't you tell me that we, uh... Yep, she has dementia. Poor, poor mare. Oh well. Well, my friends, I have a small problem. Another kid, a nine-year-old child named Tega, is calling from nearby. She's begging to join, and there is a threat following her that she is unwilling to say what it is, and she's also unwilling to say more about herself. But she's a child, but what, what, like... Ah, of course we have to accept her. Of course. Like... I mean... Well, suppose that we will see whatever the threat is when it comes to it. God damn it. Say hello everybody to Tega over here. Now, let's take a look at your bio. Traits body, mother. You know what? You know what? And a burning passion in crafting? That's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay? We are still on time to uh, uh, mold her into something very useful for the colony. So, you are a kid, therefore you go into kids' areas and you get a regular medicine. Now, let's see what, uh, what is chasing her. Well, looks like... Oh my freaking god! These are works, these are not foxes, these are not foxes! Oh my god, how many foxes did we have to deal with 21? Well, I would like to point out that works are probably 4 times stronger and 60 times more deadly. Well, foxes nibble on your feet, works will bite your neck and rip your head out. Okay, um... Hmm, I wonder, what can we do? Should we engage with these many wargs? Or should we keep inside? Well, my friends, the answer is quite obvious. We, oh, Max, I forgot about the Max. Uh, inside, come on, come on, come on, come on. I already sent the kids inside. They are doing, you know, hauling and cleaning tasks. Now it's time to get the mechs out of the way. So uh, this time, instead of spreading our guys to make a crossfire, I want everybody focusing their fire up front. This way, hopefully, we'll be able to take them out. We'll be able to have a more concentrated beam of bullets. And not only that, we also are be have been upgrading our uh, firepower consistently. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, assault rifles now. And I intend on making more. But for now, let's just wait on the works. Here we go, my friends. Time to start putting them down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Zombie, zombie, zombie. We need to stem the tie a little bit. You are always in the wrong side of things. 
and I only realized that when it is a bit too late. Okay, let's uh, come on, 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 come on. Focus fire, focus fire. Let the militors take care of those uh, up front. You guys need to like. Oh, it's already all of them. Uh, sure. Who's closer? It, let's tag that. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. We are going to focus fire uh, more often instead of just spreading everybody around. Much, much better. No one got uh, even beaten. I'm pretty happy with the results. Everybody, go back. Max area 2. And in this case, no longer is area 2. It's just mech area. I renamed it. And the kids, I think it's in schedule. Kids can go back into the kid area. Oh, and everybody else? Back into unrestic unrestricted. But oh well, my friends. I think we are gonna call it here. Today was... Uh, Animal killing day, apparently. Mm -hmm. No, uh, no humans. Bunch of animals. You know what? That's Taiga. Taiga. Conversion ritual. Ten days, really? All right, Taiga. We need to have a conversation. Come here, come here, Taiga. Stop right there. Angelos wants to have a conversation with you. There we go. Almost 20% at a time. I like that. But in any case, my friends, I think we're going to call it here. Next episode, we're going to get this done so that we can increase the level of zombie. Hopefully, we'll get some, some extra psychic powers. I don't think we will, however, because we are already level 3. And that thing is for level 2 upgrades, so maybe we'll get a level 2 power. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right, right. Not only that, we... Uh, are closer than ever to start uh, the bionic replacement of a bunch of limbs in our guys, which is pretty nice. And we have achieved somewhat of a, uh, a good spot when it comes to our uh, component uh, economy and sustainability. We just need some godforsaken steel to get things rolling, but oh well, my friends, all of that will be in the future. So. With all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. In the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Hmm, bye bye.